I'm feeling all turned around as well. What? Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. Carried? By whom? For what purpose? Groot, Vines are your thing, right? He says he asked already. They don't know the way. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units, because it ain't. He doesn't have 50 units. I... No way are we almost there. Still got, like, half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sector 9. Ha! <laughs> that, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Drax, wanna clear a path? Only if you admit that every one of my Lady Hellbender stories is true. So that's a no. Rocket, care to bet on what's on the other side of these vines? Maybe. How much? You guys are unbelievable. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the whole thing? Here. No. We're just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is just go. No, you just someone go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it.
Groot says there's something down there. Once it doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Right, guys, anyone know what that is? Stumpy's running away. Put that its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe someone was trying to fix up the old bomber. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. N-O-P-E! No! One tick. Done. Doing, doing, done. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. <sighs> See anything useful up there?
I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Yo, well, check out the upper waste run. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It's a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. Right there's good. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes! That is why I can easily carry this great weight. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. Drax, this one's all you. Here looks good. Done. You gotta say, I get some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the ground. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. Here goes nothing. Surprised this thing has been picked clean for salvage. This planet has no place for carrion. He's got a point. Hard enough to land here, let alone scour the surface for scrap. First a down resistance ship, now a Novacore one. Two out of three on Galactic War Bingo. Maybe this was a staging ground for the push against the Shatari. Or maybe it was a bug stronghold and they were shooting these things out of the sky. Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. By the time we get there, Hellbender will have moved on from Monster Clan. Oh, what is taking so long? Rocket, you know what I'm thinking. I could always throw a bomb at the Wainstrut. No! no! What's wrong with you? I was thinking Gamora could cut the cable. What's that I hear? The wing cables calling down to us? They want a date with your sword, Gamora. Really? I can cut those cables, I just need a way up. Groot, is there any way you could bring down that wing? Groot ain't that strong. He says you want something sharp. Rocky, don't let me down. Why are you asking me? You need your muscles again, Drax. What do you think made this place worth fighting over? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe the ships we've seen just got taken down by the storms. You think this place was like a secret base? Could be. Middle of nowhere, inhospitable surface, storms provide cover from detection. Maybe refugees fled here. What next, Peter Quill? Maybe this Hell Lady is some old war hero. She can get no one from this. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. All right. Slippery wind pummel treetops, here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is. Lady Hellbender's fortress. It's gotten bigger, that for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Looks like there's a way down here. Whoa! You gotta see this. <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh. Slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. <laughs> Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? Uh, you think? Son of a smack breach! A 
sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? Well. Glasses, they only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. This one, you think you've seen it all. It pulls Scott like this. I guess, could you just please the guns me, alone? Me, I, I, quite like this one, I see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, some kind of morphing animal or sorcery. Here we go again. beside you any longer, Rodent. Your battle skills are sloppy and erratic. My skills? You've got all the subtlety of a brain-dead battering ram! Say the word, Peter Cloak, and I shall single-handedly tear these fiends apart! You think we're in trouble? From these guys? Well, I say trouble is our middle name. Who said we were in trouble? When we're slicing scuds with a knife or a blade? When we're shooting fast and Groot's making shade, that's what I call trouble. Who's with me? I feel that seriously was motivated. Uni. Climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Rocket, can you extend that cannon? With my brute animal strength? No! Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible! It will not stay in place! You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? 
You Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out, trust me. You gotta find a way to lock it in place. Uh, I cannot hold it forever! I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Drax, can you drag out that higher cannon? Impossible. It is too far from the ground. Gamora, can you reach that cannon? I can, but I won't be able to get it out if that's what you want. Rocket, any ideas on getting that top one out? Not from this angle, no. Group. Any way you could bring that one down with vines or something? <laughs> he says his vines ain't strong enough to move them things. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine! Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Clark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps in- Ha! Look at it go! You must have jump-started the thing! Rocky, you okay? <laughs> yeah! And dry now, too! Yeah. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure! Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? <laughs> yes. Their heads are ridiculous. always on the wrong side. I could throw. Touch me again and I paint these cliffs great. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbender. Let me guess. He would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. You're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. Ugh. That is disturbingly fragrant. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got monster food? The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Why are you a 
Whisper. And two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Then jelly, then...